Uh, today, I want us to talk about uh, bibliography. Uh, we have two ways in which we can write bibliography. Uh, so the first one is what we call embedded a style. So for embedded style, uh, you simply write whatever you are, uh, how you want your bibliography to appear. So for instance, if I'm checking on this uh, paper, and let's go straight to, to references. So uh, when you're doing embedded style, you're going to write in such a way that they appear the way you want them to appear. Like in this case, you do formatting the way they appear. So if we may try copy pasting some of this. And down here, I write begin the bibliography. And sorry, the bibliography. We put some limit here. We can put uh, 10 because I'm sure I'm not going to get to 10. So here is how we write it bib item. Okay, so I've pasted them there. So the first argument, these are two arguments. I hope, where does this end? This ends here. Okay. The first one is the site key, what we call a site key. So for example, in this case, I'm going to use Hubert mm, 1957. Uh, here we have some accent, German accent. I'm going to write it as so this is how we write that O. Can put it in inside that. Uh, there's not any other. So if we left we left it the way it was, we would get an error. So we have the site key, and then we have the other details, the way they are going to appear. So let me see, there's nothing like, uh, yeah, nothing is bold or anything or italized. So the next thing I'm going to write be by time again. I'm going to say Isaacs, uh, 2006. And then, sorry, the second argument up to there. And then lastly, I'm going to have again B by 10. Uh, going to have Isaacs again. So the site key must be unique. 1982. Uh, this ends where? Yeah, so I'm going to I'll uh, leave out the other part. So here we have uh, three items. And as you can see, bib item uh, is a command with two uh, arguments. The first one being a site key. So this site key will be used when you're citing this uh, uh, paper inside your document. So first, let's see what we have. Okay, so here we have a bibliography. So uh, the reason we're having bibliography is because we are using report class. So if you are using report class, uh, the default bib name is uh, bibliography. You can change that somewhere here. 
you can say renew command uh, bibnem equals to references and let's see what we have now you can see now we have references okay so this one will just appear the way you write them if you want something like um, this to be uh, or the title to be in italics or something so if you want the title this is a book if you want the title of this book to be in italics we're going to do some something here i'm going to say end that there so it doesn't have to go all the way that's just another way i want it i want to hand it there so that i can have something like this so i want to emphasize from here to the end so if i put it here i'm going to emphasize anything from here to here if i put it here i'm going to emphasize from here to here but i want the title which starts here so i'm putting the emphasis there uh, if I want this to be, oh, yes, I got somewhere else here. This is a paper, so if I want to uh, make this italics, so I'm going to say em there. And then if I want this to be bold, I need to group it there like that. Then bf and some space, so bf and some space. So this 43 will be bold and this advanced mathematics will be uh, will be in italics. So you can see this is in italics, this is in italics, this is bold. So we can do the same for the Jano. Uh, this is the Jano. So we can uh, italize the Jano and then bold the volume so let's do that so journal ends here so i'm going to press there i'm going to italize that and i'm going to bold that so that we have some uniformity with the articles and books will have uh, a different formatting. So we are italizing the journal and for the books we are italizing the um, title. So this journal, we're bolding the volume. So that is how we write um, references or bibliography in um, embedded style how to cite so we have ways to cite so we can just cite somewhere here we say um, for example suppose we are saying this theorem comes from we have a theorem somewhere or oh, this lemma so we say this Lagrange um, Suppose we want to say sight from somewhere. This is cited from U part 1957. It's just an example. I think we had a U part 1957. Yeah, we had a U part 1957. So there we have. Uh, let's see what happens first as this one is set to sorry just a minute so that works out very well uh, i want to put another case this is another case okay let's see Ah, so you see when you do not use that, we have this. You can also add something like, uh, 
it's an option. Option are usually in square brackets inside here. So suppose this is theorem 12.6 in this book. We can also cite that. Mm. And here we have, we have something like this. So I want to now change this so that it's upright. Text up. Uh, so that we now have something which is upright in upright position. So this site you can click here because we put an iPad and it will take you to this uh, item. So that's how we use embedded uh, style. I'm going to comment this and I'm going to comment this as well. Uh, one of the disadvantages of big, um, embedded style is um, it's not flexible. So when you're told that maybe by the journal to change the format, yeah, you might need to do a reformatting. Manually, you go back to the text, you rewrite the text and so on and so forth. Uh, so let's see how we use the other type, which is uh, bib tech. Bib tech. So with bib tech, you create a separate file. So I'm going to open a new page, new document here. So we create a dot bib file, and this dot bib file. Uh, will act as a, a database for our references, uh, bibliography. So these are we do right. I'm going to give examples of uh, articles and um, books. So in this example, so this is an article, but this is a book. So in this article, uh, we need to check a few things. We have author author's name, we have the title, uh, we have the journal, we have volume of the journal, we have the year, we have the pages. Now with the book, we have the author, we have the title of the book, we have the uh, publisher, and then we have uh, um, uh, address, up to here is address, and then we have the year. I'm not sure whether this Arms Chelsea is the name of the publisher or it's just American Mathematical Society. Yeah, Chelsea could be the name of a place. So we're going to work with that, assuming that Chelsea is the name of a place, but Providence is some kind of a place, I think, in Rhode Island, I think. Uh, so we're going to write this and this and this. So this is also an article. You can see the pages, you can see the volume, you can see the year, and this is the journal. Okay. So in the bib file, so this is the bib file we are creating. Article, the first one is an article. Uh, now here, we use the site key again. You put 1957, comma. Those commas are very important. Alpha. Because here you can use quotation marks. Uh, or braces. I prefer using bracing. So the halter is button. You put comma, title,
that's the title, comma. Next is the journal. Map. So that's the journal. Comma again. Uh, then we have volume. Six eight comma. We have the year. Nineteen uh, fifty seven comma. We have pages. One twenty six to one fifty. The beauty of this is you can reuse it. That's the last bit, so we don't need to put a comma. We can create one database uh, from which we can just be using uh, if you're working on the same uh, area of study, probably most of the references will just be the same. So here you don't need to use all the all the all the articles or the books that you write in your database so you can just have one database and then always use it so we're going to see how we can do that so the second one is a book by isaacs 2006 but the the key site key alpha Equals to, I think, Irving Martin Isaacs, comma, title. We're going to write out uh, theory of. Finite groups, and then we're going to say a publisher arms Chelsea, um, comma, address equals to. Providence Rhode Island from year two thousand and six. We don't need a comma, it's the last one. Then the last one is uh, article. So I'm trying to, to write slowly so that we can follow Isaacs. This is 1982, um, alpha equals to what? Now I can copy paste, can I? Let me just copy paste everything. Uh, So, oops, this so deserves to have that. Sorry. When you miss something, you know you're going to get a lot of errors. Um, character correspondence. Insolvable. Oops. Journal Math. You should never forget a comma. When you forget a comma, you're going to end up in a lot of problems. Uh, Forty three. 
Vamos. Uh, this I don't think there's uh, any particular order from here. After Jano, I think you can just write uh, volume uh, pages on and here. Here is 1982, comma pages equals to 284 to 306. That's the end, so we leave it like that. So that's a sample, we can save it as references.bib. Now make sure you save it in the same folder. So we have a file of bib file called references.bib. So we go back to where we were working. Now here, I'm just going to write them down here. So I'm going to use a bibliography style. We have several, I'm going to start with the plane. So I'm going to cover only three. And then we're going to say uh, bibliography is references. It's, we called it references.bib, so we just use references. And then we need to edit the configure tech maker. Um, quick build, we're going to set it here so that it goes through the bib tech and then back and then view PDF. Uh, for the when we're running it for the first time here, we going we expect to get an error, and the error is because we have not cited anything in that bib file. So let me see if we get the error. Oops, there are some errors here. Title. Yeah, I found no citation commands while reading that. So uh, I believe that error is because uh, we have not cited. So when you do not cite anything from that file, uh, you will not be able to use it. So you can use it when you cite something. And uh, the things that you cite are the things that will appear here in the references, not just everything. That's why I say when you have a, just a, a database, it's a, like a database, you have all the possible articles, then you can just cite whichever that you want in your document and then they are the only ones to appear. So I'm going to go back and uncomment something that we were citing here. So here, uh, we have used the same, same site key, so it's going to work. Let's see what we have. If we have any other errors, we're going to sort them. Yeah, we have some errors here. Um, string num is undefined. Yeah, was expecting a comma or that line three of references got big. Let me check that line. Line three of references. Yes, something was missing that one. How did I miss it? Okay, so let's save and go back. Go back and see if we are going to get the same errors. Oops. I think it's a different error. Uh -huh. Illegal end of database file. Uh -huh. Line 25 of references.pib. <sighs> mm. 
9.25. But yeah, uh, you can see here that this is supposed to match with this, but it's matching with this. We have two here, it should be one. Uh, so let's save, we go back. Let's try again. I think it's going to work now. Yep, it has worked. So we have this and you can see in bibliography, this is the only uh, article that we have because it's the only article that we have cited. So let's go back here. We change this bibliography with the same command. So I'm going to uncomment this. Uh, so that we have, we change it to references. So we are going to cite the others so that they also appear here. So that you can see that whichever we cite appears. And then we are going to, uh, but before we go and cite, I'm going to add something here that says no cites, a no cite command, and you will see what happens when we use that command. Okay, so you can see when we use that command, uh, LaTeX will not check whether we have cited them or not, it, they will just appear. Um, sorry, this should be Martin. Sorry, 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 sorry. Martin. So the point is um, when we use that command, everything is shown irrespective of whether it's used in the document or not. Uh, so we're going to remove it again, and then we're going to cite another. So now when we do this, we expect that only one will appear. So we're going to add another one somewhere here so that we have two of them by theorem. Or we can just cite anywhere here like uh, by cite. So you can see when we use BibTech, it suggests, gives you some suggestions. We're not going to use Citep or Citet uh, because we we usually use, uh, let me use the book, six. And then an option here, theorem 12.3. We obtain that, blah, blah, blah. So we have cited a certain theorem in this book. And so we expect the book to appear now in our, in our references. Okay, so this is the theorem. So we expect the book to appear. So now we have two of them that we have already cited. So if we do a citation for the third one, we expect also to obtain it. So we can also do a multi uh, citation. So the, the studies in sight. So we have Hubert uh, Isaacs. 1982, I don't know, Isaacs, um, 2006. Let me check here, yeah, it was 1982. So here we are making uh, citations, okay. Uh, similar. Okay, so we can cite all of them together. Uh, 
and then we expect them to appear in the references section. So put them together like that. Now you can see we have three of them. So we have used the plain style. So I need to use another style here. So we're going to use abbreviation, which is shortened as abbrev. And let's see what happens. So uh, notice the names, the changes in the names. So these appear as plain, the names appear the way you've written them. Uh, abbrev, we expect the names to be abbreviated. and leave the surname. So the other names will be abbreviated except the surnames. And as you can see, we have abbreviations here. So that's why I was talking about flexibility. So how these appear depends on the, the bibliography style that we choose. Uh, we can also choose APA. APA is the one that we use here in Maseno. So uh, when you use APA, when you run it, you're going to get an error. So we're going to use a certain package here. Use package, not bib. Sorry, numbers. The option is numbers. The package is called natbib. And when you use natbib without numbers, you're going to get some into some errors. So let's see if we get something. Okay, here we are. So you can see we've now started with the surname and the rest of the name is also abbreviated. So this is how APA works. And uh, let's go back to the NME, uh, the bib file. We see, look at something here. Here you can see I used the capital P, but here we are not getting a capital P. So normally when you use a, a capital name in an article uh, title, everything will be in uh, lowercase except of course the beginning but that is for you to to put a capital it doesn't mean that when it's small it's going to change into capital but the the case is not the same for for books okay so this is how it's supposed to be written so uh, latex is going to change it for you and in case you want to insist that, suppose this is a name of a person, in that case, you need to tell LaTeX to retain that capital. Like in this case, when I'm, I'm saying uh, this P should appear as capital. So this is usually when we have a name of a person here. So we're going to save this and go back to our document and then we run it. All right, so you can see this one is now capital, but you don't, you don't need to do that if this is not a name of a person. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And then there's something else that I want to mention is uh, how we install APA. So APA will be installed from your MicTech console. So you open your MicTech console You search MicTech console here and open it. So mine is already running. Here it is. So you go here to packages. You search for APA and 
here it is actually I installed it to uh, yesterday I believe so you just select it and install here uh, other packages like math tools you search them here you select and install so this is how you're going to be installing uh, packages if uh, you are not prompted here to install them but I usually prefer installing them using MicTech than getting the prompts here. So that will be it for today. Uh, see you next time. Thank you.